One drop. Now let's add the hot water. Careful. There. Since it's hot water, I'm going to add some red food coloring. And there we go. Since this is the tricky part, I'm going to ask my mom to help me take the hot water on, put it on the cold water. Let's put the card. check out my magic water experiment. Please be careful when you take the card out. Wow! Look friends, nothing is happening. The hot water is still up and the cold water is still down. Wow! Wow! It's not mixing! See, friends? Hmm, I'm going to show you how it works later. But it's now time to do the second experiment. We're going to put the cold water on top and the hot water on the bottom. Let's do it! We're pretty much going to do the same thing. But instead of putting the hot water on top, we're going to put the cold water. Card. It's mixing. Hmm. It's mixing. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Instead of being red and blue, it's purple. Um. Oh yeah. Red and blue mix into purple. Hmm. I thought you should not mix. Now let's see how it works. When we heat up the water, the water molecules start going faster and faster. So they become less dense than the cold water. So that's why when I put the hot water on top of the cold water, they do not mix because the hot water has less dense than the cold water. But on the second part, it was the same thing, but the opposite. We put the cold water on top and the hot water on the bottom. Remember I told you that the hot water is less dense than the cold water? That's why the cold water mixed with the hot water. If you don't know what density is, please go check out my density tower experiment. 
I hope you like this hot and cold experiment. You will learn science in a fun way. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Science Fun for Kids. Thank you and Nandri!